Hi guys, I'm Art Vigier. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right Hi, I'm Art Vigier with Peak Design. Uh, I designed the range pouch here. So, mm. too much about me. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Art Vigier with Peak Design. I'm gonna walk you through the range pouch, the different sizes, different features, and how to get you set up. We designed range pouch to be a versatile accessory and lens pouch. It's padded, so it provides great protection, but it's still nice and flexible so that it folds flat when you're not using it, so you don't have this big bulky foam object, which is something that was the number one thing that we were trying to fix and something that we hated about existing uh, lens pouches out on the market. So this is gonna be great whether you're uh, putting it inside of a bag, um, what camera bag or non-camera bag, just to keep things protected and kind of separated on your belt or on a strap. How would you like me to wrap up the shots? Just kind of like, or on a strap. Or like. <laughs> <laughs>The first thing you'll notice about the range pouch that's different from other pouches is that it uses this flap closure. And what that does is allows uh, compression and expansion to fit different size lenses. Um, we think that's important because one of the main complaints we had with other pouches is that with a zip closure um, and like a more circular design, if your lens doesn't fit perfectly in the pouch, it's always rattling around and you've got all this dead space that you can't use. So what this does is allows you to take even a really small lens, like this little prime pancake guy here, and totally compress the bag all the way down so that you don't have a bunch of extra rattly space in there and it's nice and secure and it's not bouncing around. Um, and all the way up to a significantly larger lens like this 24 to 70, 2.8, like so. And same deal, nice and secure. Another cool feature is we have these expanding side gussets here. So it's great because it, it'll fit nice and snug on your lens and then when you go to reach in, it actually has room to expand and allow you to uh, get your whole hand in there and get a good grip on your lens and pull it out nice and safely. There's a great feature that we call um, lens stacking as well. So you'll see on the inside of the pouch I have this, uh, this padded felt zone here, and there's uh, a piece of Velcro I can release like that, and then it releases this kind of tongue. Now there's storage um, in the back here, which is great, but what that tongue allows you to do is basically take a lens, and so this is a medium-sized pouch, so I'm just putting a prime in the bottom, so I've got plenty of room here, but obviously I can't stack another lens on top of it because they'll get all scratched up. So I take that tongue, and I fold that down and kind of stuff it around the lens. So it looks like that, you can see that. And then I can just take that pancake lens and just put that right on top of there. And now both are divided and they're nicely protected and then I can cinch that down and I've got two lenses in one pouch. So just a really nice versatile feature that I think you'll find handy. Another feature is uh, we have a, uh, an additional pro uh, pocket in the front, kind of similar to the one in the back, but uh, a lot smaller. It's great for filters or um, a lens cap or small items that you want to stash in here, but don't want kind of rattling around against the lens. Another cool feature on the pouch is the, uh, the silent Velcro. So it's a unidirectional Velcro, which means all the hooks face in the same direction on the, uh, on the hard scratchy hook portion here. And basically what that means is that you can use it just like normal Velcro and just put it down and rip it open. Uh, but if you're in a situation where you want to um, be quiet, like you're shooting a wedding or some sort of an event, um, you can put it down and then when you pull the flap down, it gets nice and quiet, like so. Um, another cool feature about it is that it actually locks up really well, which is great when you have this compression. So you kind of pull down and if you pull up on the flap a little bit, all those teeth lock up and it becomes much stronger than normal Velcro but still really nice and easy to get off. On the back of the pouch, we've got a couple more features here. We've got a pull handle on the uh, medium and large size of the pouch, so you can pull it out of your bag easier or for kind of short carry. And then we've got this label window here with uh, a label that you can uh, mark the 
uh, size of the lens that you have in here so you don't have to open up the pouches to check if you have multiple pouches, you don't get confused. One of the cool parts about these labels is that it's actually four different faces that you can write dimensions on. So if you have several lenses that you use in this pouch, instead of having to kind of ignore the writing, all you have to do is just mark all your different lenses you have and then fold it to the uh, lens that you're using and put it back in the window. There's a couple of different ways to, to carry the range pouch. Uh, one is on a belt and the other is on one of our Peak Design camera straps. Uh, we don't include the camera strap, but um, we think it's a great uh, part of our whole kind of ecosystem. So uh, if you own um, multiple cameras and uh, bags and straps, they all have the anchor link system, so you can attach any of our camera straps to them. Um, I'll show you the, the belt setup first. Um, basically, the way the belt works is there's a uh, tongue here and then kind of a, a flap that, that comes over to, to lock it down. So you're just going to pull down on that to release that, um, that belt tongue. And um, then basically, you are going to put that down behind your belt like so. Pull it all the way down. And then the little flap on the back, you're just going to fold that up and that will secure the tongue like so. So now that's nice and secure, like so. You can slide around in my belt a little bit and uh, have just great access. Um, obviously, you can put this onto a uh, kind of pro photo belt and string it up with several pouches. That works great as well. It's nice and quick to take off. And uh, to hook it up with our straps, you'll notice there's these um, little black and red circular discs on here. Um, these are our anchor links, and um, all of our straps use this connection system. So the way they work is um, they feed in like so, and you just pull and click them into place like that. Now I've got a great lightweight uh, little camera bag set up, uh, probably with a quick adjust depending on the strap you have, and uh, really nice to work with. Um, uh, if you have capture on uh, a belt or a backpack strap, it's nice just to have kind of like really quick access to your, uh, to your lenses like so. And then if you don't need um, a strap um, and you don't want these guys kind of dangling around here, um, they tuck underneath the flap when you're not uh, using them. Or of course, you can just take them off. Very easy. We make the range pouch in three sizes, small, medium, and large. Let's talk about the small. Size-wise, this is designed for primes and uh, uh, small, medium, uh, and even some kind of larger uh, mirrorless system lenses as well. It's going to be great for wallet keys, phone, sunglass, kind of that kind of accessories as well. Um, this is probably going to be your best bet for that. Um, and uh, so let me show you just a couple. I have like a kind of mid-size Sony uh, 50 millimeter prime here. I would say that fits quite comfortably. You can probably go a little bit larger than that. And, um, and then I have a little pancake uh, 1. 35 millimeter 1.8 E-series lens as well. And that kind of compresses down heavily like so. Um, compact camera-wise, I've got a uh, NEX 5N uh, with the pancake. Uh, 16 2.8 on here, just kind of for size-wise. Um, that's about the size of most compact um, cameras. That fits pretty comfortably in there. I think we have some Does It Fits uh, FA, FAQs um, that we can send you if you have uh, sizing concerns. But in general, that should give you a, a, a range that we're looking for on the small. Um, the medium is designed to fit a uh, Nikon or Canon 24 to 70. Um, Generally, with no hood, the hood on especially the Nikon is just so big that you're going to need the large size for that. Um, but you can actually fit the, uh, the 14 to 24 wide angle um, in this medium size pouch um, because we gave you quite a bit of uh, size up here. So here's the 24 to 70 with uh, no hood attached. You can see it fits nice and comfortably in there. And uh, it's really built around this lens, I would say that's that's about about max. You can go a little bit bigger, not too much. 
Um, the medium size range pouch will also uh, work pretty well for small to medium size um, flashes. Uh, it fits really, really nicely actually. Uh, if you are using big diffusers or you have a really large size flash, you'll probably need the large size. So the large size pouch is uh, really designed around telephotos. Um, the 70 to 200 specifically is about the max of this range um, without the uh, hood attached or with the hood flipped around. Um, but it will also fit your 24 to 70, um, either with the hood backwards or forwards, which is nice. If this is uh, your go-to lens, uh, you're gonna wanna check out the large size uh, pouch like so. You can see that fits really nicely, like so. And then I've got a 70 to 200 here. Um, this one will actually fit hood down, which is nice, so it doesn't get caught on stuff when you're putting it in. Like that. The large size pouch is gonna be great for a DJI Mavic Pro. Let me show you how that fits real quick. like so. Um, it's great, but one thing to note that you won't be able to fit the controller or the charger or the extra batteries or all of the uh, peripherals that we wish we didn't have to drag around with this thing. Um, one thing that's cool is you do have a, a, a nice spot for your phone in front here if you want to fly without the controller. So this is a very lightweight setup for that. Um, but if you want to drag around all of the extra gear, we highly recommend um, picking up a field pouch for that. Um, this manages a lot of little parts and pieces really, really well. It's what it's designed for. So in here I've got my charger, an extra battery or two, and uh, the controller, and uh, plenty of room for other smaller stuff as well. If you have a lot of things to manage, a lot of filters or cords or batteries, I highly recommend the field pouch, which is our, uh, the other pouch in our line. And uh, it's just really great for... Um, uh, is that a little loud? I highly recommend uh, taking a look at the field pouch. This is one of my all-time favorite products from Peak Design. And pairs great um, with these as well. Um, so if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They're uh, happy to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching, folks.